Graham Polly Farmer's football success spans the breadth of our country, from Western Australia to Victoria. He played 356 games for East Perth, Geelong and West Perth, won his club's best and fairest award 10 times, the Sandover, the Simpson and the Tassie medals seven times, played in six premiership sides, three All-Australian teams and was selected in the Geelong team of the century, the AFL team of the century and is an AFL Hall of Fame legend. Looking back on such rock-solid success, it is hard to grasp how unlikely it was for an Aboriginal boy born in 1935 and raised at Sister Kate's children's home in the Perth suburb of Welshpool. As a teenager, Farmer was tall and gangly thin, with his mate Ted Kilmurray, who reckons his nickname came from the fact he was always good on the tooth, hungry as a parrot forever pecking on his seeds. Polly Farmer was a ruckman, but he was still only 10 stone. He was tough and competitive, even to stand up to the hard men in the WA League. His intelligence was applied with reflex determination. Every time I went out onto the football field, I set my mind to be the best on the ground and win the game. That is how I prepared myself. In the 50s and the 60s, there was very little to hold you back and every abusive name under the sun was hurled at Aboriginal players. Polly's reaction to this was typical, cool, firm and clear. Whatever the person is saying about me, I didn't have a problem. From early on, Polly had his sights set on playing VFL. In 1962, he transferred to Geelong and it was his dominance in the ruck that broke an 11 year drought and gave them the premiership in 1963. In 1995, the Graham Polly Farmer Foundation was established to enable young Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians to develop positive aspirations and the skills to realise their fullest potential. Many years after he last took off his boots, Polly continues to give.